I'm telling you this technique, I love. I love it for making my very light makeup stay put all day. Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel, which is all about educational beauty. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to create a summery natural makeup look that is heat proof, sweat proof, everything proof. So that in this summer scorching heat, I mean, I don't know what it's like where you are, but right now where I live, which is in the desert, it is boiling. And it gave me the idea to really show you this look, which is natural looking, so it doesn't require full coverage makeup, which is sweat proof, because I don't necessarily wanna go out in this heat with full coverage makeup. So I wanted to show you my tricks and tips and application technique on how you can create that yourself and keep it sweat proof, but keep it natural. Now, if you do like this video, please do give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button so that you never miss any of my future videos. I'm over on Instagram too, so make sure you come say hi there. Now let's get started with this video. I feel like this tutorial is gonna be perfect for this time of year. So this is how to apply sweat proof makeup, which is a natural summery look. So this is when you want your skin to look super natural. You want your general makeup to look natural, very summery, very fresh. So you don't want it to look fully matte. You know, you want that nice glow coming through without it being too glowy, but you want it to stay. You want it to be sweat proof. You want it to just last in this summer heat. I'm gonna show you that today. So this is an amazing tutorial for you. Now it does all start from skincare, but every step is very important in this. So I don't have anything on my skin. I've just used my face wash, let it dry, and we're gonna get on with skincare now. Let's start with the eye cream. I'm using my Drunk Elephant in C Tango. This is gonna just help keep my eye area really nicely moisturized, but it's also not overly kind of greasy so we're not going to get those creases come through so i'm just going to let that kind of there you go smooth that all over moisturizer let's go in with my it cosmetics confidence in a cream this is a general kind of like good all-round moisturizer kind of like does the job you know Feels so good. I feel like every video you see me doing this, like when I put my moisturizer on, I'm like, ah. Oh. You know, when you have like a drink of water, it's just so good. Next up, SPF. I'm using my Charlotte Tilbury Invisible UV Flawless Poreless Primer. Try and say that really fast. Okay, I've got a little bit of this on my hand. And I'm just gonna smooth this over. And this is a primer as well, so that's the good thing about this. Next up is my Milk Hydro Grip Eye Primer. This is great because it's just an old, like obviously I use this as well sometimes, which is the Hydro Grip Primer for the face. This is the Hydro Grip for the eye area. It's really good if you feel like just trying to get rid of the creases seems to be difficult for you. So what I do is I just apply this on top and then under the eyes too. And I basically smooth this over. The great thing is this isn't actually a pasty kind of product. So it smooths over really nicely. It's like an actual face primer, but for the eyes. So it's not like those other eye primers you get, which are very pasty and kind of become very bitty after a little while. So I just make sure this is smoothed over. It's very even. There's no like thickness in any specific area. Now we're going to get our concealer and I'm going to use my Born This Way from Too Faced. This is my multi-sculpt, multi-sculpt, multi-use sculpting concealer in warm beige. This isn't overly heavy. So if you compare this to the Tarte Shape Tape, massive difference in heaviness and cakiness. So I really like this for kind of summer time makeup or just makeup which I don't want it to look cakey. This is great for that. So you get the coverage, but it doesn't look as cakey. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply this just over my lids first and buff that in. Let's get powder and give that a kind of little pat down so we can set it. This is my Makeup Forever Ultra HD setting powder in light banana. I'm just gonna press that. Very small amount of powder. You don't need much because I have got that primer underneath helping as well. Just dust it off. I'm using my Real Technique setting brush. And the eyelids are done. Now I'm gonna go in with 
my summer fridays sheer skin tint i know what you're thinking skin tints don't usually last but i'm going to be showing you how you can make it last because this on its own would not last i've tried this i use this a lot especially in the mornings when i'm taking nico for a walk it doesn't last it ends up looking very kind of greasy after a little while you know it looks great for like five minutes and then it's like looking greasy but i have figured out a way to kind of apply it so that i do have genuinely natural looking makeup and it is genuinely natural but it lasts all day because you know i can show you videos like how to make a full coverage foundation look like it's light coverage which i may do actually so let me know if you want to see that but ultimately it's still full coverage foundation right and i want to show you how you can use your light stuff how you can use your really natural looking stuff and your natural feeling stuff so that it does actually last now i'm going to go ahead and just shake that first apply some on the back of my hand and my shade is number five by the way in case you were wondering i am going to go ahead get my f47 brush from sigma and just apply this all over so now I know that I am gonna get a really nice natural finish to my skin. Like I'm not even faking it. It's genuinely gonna be a light finish. You can keep layering on as much as you need or how, you know, however much you usually use. I'm kinda happy with that. It's not too much where you can really see streakiness from the brush, but it's kind of like really kind of gone right into my skin. Okay, I'm gonna get my concealer, the same one I used earlier, and I'm gonna apply it just here. Just here. And you can add more if you feel that you need more, but I think we're gonna start with this. It's a small amount, and let's just keep it on the under eye area at the moment. So that initial blending is gonna be just under the eye. We don't wanna start dragging it out yet, otherwise what you're doing is you're using all that product to cover up the cheek area when actually you want all that coverage for the under eye area. It's only the excess that's left over that we're gonna kind of start taking down. See that? So that it all blends in nice and seamlessly. There you go. Look at that, right? Let's do the same here. I don't know why I'm holding this like this. I should have put this back in. If you feel that the concealer you've used is a little bit too light and you can see the difference between the foundation and your concealer, you can take a little bit of that skin tint, put it on the back of your hand, get your sponge, go into it, buff it into the back of your hand first so that there's not like random excess product going onto your face and then buff over this whole area again so that you're almost kind of like letting it kind of fuse together and just giving it a veil of like one veil of color. Now we are going to get our cream bronzer, which is the Charlotte Tilbury Sunkissed Glow Bronzer. Now I'm gonna use a brush to actually buff this in and I'm using my Hourglass Foundation Brush. I'm gonna just dab it once into there and then I always go on the back of my hand to make sure there's no like excess and this is where I'm just going to very lightly sculpt just a little bit because I really do want this to look natural I'm going to take this on the kind of edge of the face same thing here very light because obviously we don't want it to look and you can use a sponge for this if you want to i'm just kind of going over the areas where i really want to kind of like sculpt a little bit okay now i'm going to get some liquid blush i'm using my nars liquid blush in torrid and i'm just going to take one pump on the back of my hand I'm gonna use my Charlotte Tilbury Magic Complexion brush and I'm just gonna like buff this into the back of my hand with the brush. And then I'm just gonna basically stipple this over the top part of my cheekbone. And I like how that's giving me this really nice kind of summery coral finish to my skin which I think really suits tanned skin, by the way. Coral looks amazing on tanned, like darker skin. I think I will take this over the nose a little bit. I don't usually do that, but 
I like it. it. Makes me look flushed. Now that we've applied all that product, we're now going to go in with our powder. Now I've got my Laura Mercier powder puff and I've got my Mac Fix Plus. Now I'm going to spray my powder puff with this not too much right i don't want it to be soaked i want it to just be damp so it doesn't really wet the skin and now i am going to go into my setting powder before i do that i'm just taking away these the product that's built up in my creases and my under eyes with the tip of my sponge now i'm going to go in with my sponge right and i'm dabbing this on the back of my hand so if you see there i'm dabbing it there and then i'm going to dab it all over my under eyes. I'm gonna do the same thing. So the sponge should feel just a little damp. And then I'm gonna take this over the rest of the face, lightly. I'm not adding any excess product, like there's a very kind of small amount, it's whatever's left on my um, back of my hand. Go around these areas that tend to look shiny or where it usually comes off now i'm going to get my veil brush i'm using the large part whatever's on my hand i'm going to grab it there isn't a lot like if you look there's not too much and i'm going to very lightly dust my face very lightly don't press hard now i'm getting my real techniques brush and i'm going to dust away whatever's on my under eye area I'm telling you this technique I love. I love it for making my very light makeup stay put all day. So you just want to kind of wet the powder puff a little bit. So just dampen it, but not enough that it transfers water and makes your, your hand wet. You've got to make sure that it's just like, it just feels like a little bit damp, but not too much. And spray this on your powder puff from afar, not too close because you'll get large droplets onto the powder puff. You want this to just feel kind of slightly damp. Now to finish off, I'm going to grab my Anastasia Brow Wiz in medium brown. I'm just going to kind of shade in my brows just a little bit. I am just gonna kind of very quickly curl my lashes because I want to see if I actually want to put any mascara on. This is my Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk push up lashes. I don't want a lot because I want this looking really natural. And by the way, everything I'm using, even on my brows, my mascara, are products that I have used in the extreme heat. I don't think you can get much hotter than Dubai. So, you know, this is tried and tested. And these don't smudge, run. But I do have a video coming soon where I'm going to be showing you how to stop your eyeliner, cardrol, whatever it is that you use from smudging and running. And it's going to be a complete game changer for you. I've done that. This is very natural. I'm just going to get a lip product. What should I use? I'll use a different lip liner today. I'll use Lip Cheat in Love Trap. And this is usually something I use for a darker lip, but I used it the other day and I really liked it. And I'm just feathering in. Can you see I just started shading inwards? Honestly, a lot of the time I'm not wearing lipstick. A lot of the time I'm just wearing a lip liner that I've smudged in and put a little bit of lip balm on there. Usually, well, it's either my dual lip maximizer, which is clear, and or it's my Fenty lip plush thing. I can't remember what it's called, but I use that as my lip balm at the moment. So usually that's what I would use as my lipstick because I prefer the look of lip liner and then your natural color coming through because I feel like if you use a clever lip liner color, then something which is not exactly exactly your skin color but just a little bit kind of deeper and smudge it then it kind of enhances your natural lip color anyway so yeah that is basically my sweat proof natural makeup i have been really excited about showing you this because it's something i've been doing for a while and that little trick of spraying the powder puff with a setting spray something like the mac fix honestly works wonders it's amazing now if you wanted to go over this with setting spray again if you worry about spraying and then getting droplets what i would recommend is actually taking your powder puff or the back of a sponge yeah and spraying it again so it's not too damp and then basically kind of taking that all over your face 
and that's also going to help to set your um, makeup like keep it there so this is basically how I make sure that my makeup is sweat proof heat proof transfer proof but still natural so not making a full coverage look look natural but actually using natural makeup like I only used a skin tint guys can we just can we just focus on that? I used a skin tint. Fair enough, we've got some concealer around the eyes, but everywhere else, you saw my skin before, is a little bit patchy, uneven, I've got a bit of pigmentation, I only used a skin tint. So I, honestly, I feel like this is something, and you can still see some of my flaws, but I'm happy with that, I don't mind that. Like there's, my freckles are still coming through, on my nose and even on the sides of my face a little bit, uh, and even some of my pigmentation is still coming through a little bit. I'm fine with that because my face still looks natural, but I know that it's going to be sweat proof I can go outside and it still looks natural that is the main thing if you haven't already which it will be in my description hit the follow the subscribe button on my YouTube channel which is this one that you're watching <laughs> and also head over to my vlog channel so you can follow me there as well because so much more coming up on that channel and I hope you are loving it yeah this is kind of like done guys we're done I hope that you will try this for yourself and I hope you like it so yeah leave a thumbs up if you like this video and if you have any suggestions let me know in the comments box below because I do always read your comments and a lot of the time most of the time if I haven't already done it I will actually film the, the videos that you guys are suggesting so wherever you are i'm sending you loads of love i hope you've enjoyed today's video and i hope you try out this look for yourself and it stays sweat proof for you too in the scorching heat now if you do like this video please do give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button so that you never miss any of my future videos until the next video take care and i'll see you soon